Hello and welcome to the Crypto Rocket channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run XMRig to mine Monero in Tails. Now why might you want to do this, may you ask? Well, there's a few reasons. Uh, firstly, you can install Tails on a USB stick and then you can plug that stick into any PC and mine straight away. As soon as you boot it to Tails, you'll be able to mine. So you haven't got to install it on multiple PCs. Um, and thirdly, you don't actually have to physically install it on anyone's Windows or Linux. If you want to go to someone's house or you want to go into your place of business, I mean, I wouldn't recommend this in your place of business, you can take the USB stick, plug it in, boot it and start mining. It also means you can test it quickly on different machines or servers so you can see what the hash rate might be. The other good thing about it is it's sending your connections through the Tor proxy. So this means that your ISP won't be able to see that you're mining, uh, which isn't usually a problem, um, but that could potentially be a problem. Or maybe you're on a shared network and someone is seeing that you're mining. So maybe it's, um, I don't know, say a university or a school, maybe even a place of business and someone can see the mining traffic. So using this, it will send all the traffic through Tor so that nobody will be able to see your traffic. Okay, let's get started. So you want to boot into Tails. Again, I'm showing you in a VM because I don't have a capture card at the moment. When I do have one, I'm going to show you through a capture card and I'm going to show you the difference in hash rate between Windows and Tails as well, which will be exciting. So you, firstly, you need to have persistent storage enabled. If you don't have that, I'm going to link the video, my previous video, where we go through how to create persistent storage. So the first thing is you need to unlock the persistent storage. And also you'll need to set an administration password. So click on the plus and then click on administration password and then just type a password. So unlocked and password is set. Start tails. Okay, so once Tor is loaded, you're gonna to wanna to download XMRig. So we'll go to applications, Tor browser. Type XMRig. And then we want to go to the GitHub. So I'll put the link in the description so you've got uh, the GitHub link directly anyway. And then from XMRig, on the right side, you'll see releases. We want six version 6.10. So click on that latest release. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see the different versions. And we want this one, XMRig 6.10.0-linux-x64-tar.gz. So download that one. I've already downloaded it. And we can close the browser. And then if we go into the applications and then go to files. And then go to Tor browser. And we'll see the file here. So if we just cut that and we want to put it in our persistent. So if we go home, go to persistent, I've created a folder called Monero. Here I've got the old XM rig, so I'll just paste it here. And once you have it here, you want to go to applications, system tools, terminal. And we need to get to that directory. So we do CD persistent and then CD Monero. If I ls, we can see that the file is there, and we can just type sudo tar dash xvf, and then type xm rig enter. Type a password in. Done. So if we ls now, we've got the xm rig uh, six dot ten dot zero. So I'm going to just copy my config file from here. And I'll rename that. I'll make it old. And I'll show you everything that you need to edit in the config file now. There's one other file I'm going to copy, which is this one that I made. So this script, I'm going to upload to my GitHub and share the link in the description below so you can use it as well. So this is my config that I copied across. I'm going to show you what you need to edit. So open with text editor. And 
Okay, so uh, quite a few of you have asked me in my other videos in the config JSON, how do I set my threads? So how do you set your threads? You need to find CPU here, and then under CPU, you need to find the algorithm we're working with, which is RX, random X. And then in the square brackets, you have numbers. So each of these numbers represents a thread, uh, zero being a thread. So zero to seven means eight threads. So if you had 16, you would do zero to 15 and you would space each one exactly the same. And you can obviously delete them if you want fewer, fewer threads. So that's how you set the threads in the config.json for using random X and Monero. So the next things that we'll need to change, we'll need to set the URL, which is our pool. So this is the one which I use, xmrpool.eu, and the port of 3333, which is the easy port. I'll link them down below and you can check the difficulty levels as well. Uh, the user, this is your wallet address. So you put your Monero wallet address there and it doesn't require a password, this pool, so you can leave that one blank. So the other thing that we need to set is this SOX5. We need to make sure we set it as 9150. This is the Tor proxy. So what it's doing is telling XMRIG to send all its traffic to port 9150, and then it will forward that traffic through Tor to the internet. So that's how we're proxying the traffic to Tor. And that's everything that we need to set. So we can close that. So once you've got that far, I'm going to go ahead and just show you what happens when you try and run XMRIG. So, I need to CD into XMRIG 10. And then to run XMRIG, you can just type dot forward slash XMRIG. Okay. So at the moment, I'm getting two errors. I'm getting failed to apply MSR mod, hash rate will be low, and failed to allocate random X data set using one gig pages. So I can't use one gig pages because I'm in a VM. Um, I was testing without a VM before. So we can ignore that one safely. Again, I'll show you in the config uh, just now how you can set that. Um, but this one is the big one. Failed to apply MSR mod, hash rate will be low. Um, so this is an issue. And the reason that it, it can't do that is because you need to be running as root user in order to do that. So if we try running this as root user, so sudo and start xmrig and type the password, we now get an error connection refused. Now the reason this is, is by default, Tails blocks the root user from outbound connections. So we need to enable that. In order to enable that, I've created a script, which is this root.sh, which I'll show you. So all it's doing is creating a IP tables, which is the firewall rule outbound, and it's allowing this port and the zero UID owner, which is the root user. So it's just saying basically allow the root user to send outbound traffic. So in order to run this script, you just have to go Uh, sorry, we won't do it like that. We'll do sudo sh root.sh. So just type that, type the password in, enter. And now if we try and run xmrig with sudo, we only get the one gig huge pages error. Um, again, I can disable that. If you're not running in a VM, uh, which you shouldn't be, uh, I'm just doing this just for demonstration purposes, you'll be able to use one gig huge pages. This is something that isn't available on Windows and it gives you a higher hash rate, normally between one and 5%. So it's another benefit of using Linux. And also, if you have a Windows machine and you don't want to install Linux, well, you can go ahead and install Tails on a USB. And then when you want to mine, you can just boot from your USB mine and then when you finish turn it off and then boot back into windows so it's another beautiful thing about having tails on a usb stick and being able to run xmrig from it because you may you might have uh 10 different machines you want to test the same config out you can easily just unplug boot into the next one boot into the next one so the only thing is when you're switching it over you just want to make sure that you set the threads correctly um because 
well, it's likely that the different machines you're using will have different amounts of threads. So if you set it at eight threads and the machine only has four threads, uh, it's not going to work. Um, another thing to note is by default, most CPUs will mine at their maximum hash rate using half their threads. So test this out. It's to do with the memory bandwidth. I won't get into detail too much with it. Um, but basically you'll be able to mine with half the threads normally at peak hash rate. So just mess around between half and full and see uh, how you can get the most out of the hash rate. Okay, well that concludes this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, turn on notifications and drop a comment below for things that you want to see in the future. Like I said, I've got, I'm going to have, when I get a capture card, some comparisons of the different speeds between Linux and Windows. I've got that coming. And I've got loads of other good crypto content coming, some more staking with Cardano and also uh, a review of some um, uh, DeFi crypto wallets, which include loans and stuff. So great stuff coming. Anyway, thank you very much. Till next time.